Hi guys, this is Pestilian. Welcome to another Escape from Tarkov video. In this video, I'm actually talking about why I'm uh, not really playing a lot of Escape from Tarkov at the moment, the current state of Escape from Tarkov, and what you'll be seeing from me from here. So guys, without further ado, let's crack straight into it. So I'll start off talking about why I've stopped playing Escape from Tarkov, and it will lead pretty much straight into the current state of Escape from Tarkov. But the very short and easy answer is there's just no new content. Um, I've pretty much done everything you can in Escape from Tarkov, from farming a billion rubles to uh, killing 100 and, I think 117 PMCs in three hours. Um, I've done literally all the challenges under the sun, from hardcore challenges and everything. And it's just it's just a bit dry at the moment. Like I know the memes are all about moist in, in my community, but the content's just a little bit dry, and so it's just reduced my enjoyment for Escape from Tarkov. Now that doesn't mean that it's not a great game, and and people out there aren't enjoying it. It's just it's been a long time since I've really had anything new to cover. I've focused mostly on guides in the past. Um, I've tried to give you guys the best, highest quality guides. I actually, just before this wipe, employed two new editors so I could make you the best guides I possibly could for this wipe. But there wasn't really anything new to cover. Um, the last map that came out in Escape from Tarkov was a reserve, and that was a year and 11 months ago. Now, I know they've got all these big, like, um, ideas that they're going to get all this new content out in the next four months. And if they do, I will cover it. But at the moment, there isn't anything new. It's uh, Scav Karma was added to the to the game with the wipe, and it was really great initially. I was having a lot of fun with it, and then they did like a little mini event with the Scav Karma, and it kind of just made it that everyone boosted their karma up, and it just kind of ruined it for me. So, uh, as much as I would have liked to make all these guides for that, and I was literally just about there to start doing it, it kind of just got squashed for me, and for me, that kind of just made it unfun. So. That is pretty much why I've gone to no new content uh, for Escape from Tarkov on my main channel. Um, the Hardcore series is live and currently being played out on the Pestily TV channel. That's where all my long format uh, content is. And I am still playing that live on stream. So uh, I do play Escape from Tarkov on stream for around about, I don't know, 20 hours a week, which is still quite a lot. But uh, I just aren't playing it anywhere near like I would. I've been playing a lot of variety and I've been loving it. I've been having a lot of fun. And that's why you've been seeing a lot of new and different content up on this main channel. Um, it's not that I've given up on Escape from Tarkov or anything, but I just don't want to force content out to you guys. I feel like if I'm having fun, you guys will enjoy the content. If you don't like the stuff in the meantime, that's fine. There will be more Tarkov content in the future. Um, but it's just that I don't really want to force myself to play a game uh, and give you guys B-grade content. I always try and make my content the highest quality possible, stick with the guides and stuff. And I've pretty much done a guide on every major thing for Escape from Tarkov. And I don't want to just be like remaking old guides for the sake of doing that. I don't want to just be trying to like nitpick at something small just to give you a video on it. And I don't really just want to make a, a video on a, an event every time one comes out. It would, If I did, it would literally be a short. And I was doing that for a little bit and it was a little bit fun to do. But um, I almost feel like you don't even need that. Like literally you read the tweet or the description in the launcher and you know what's going on. So um, the, the most I'm doing for you with those videos is literally just if you missed it, like the tweet or the social media post, I'm kind of just informing you. So um, I could still do it and I might, but for now, it's not really a high priority. A lot of people are asking me about the raid series. Now the raid series will go up on the Pestily TV channel but I'm just not feeling it right now. And this goes back to having the enjoyment playing the game. I have an idea of how I want to run the raid series this wipe, but it's just another thing where I don't want to force the content out to you guys. So if I like continue playing some other games, get my uh, thirst back for Escape from Tarkov, I will jump straight back into that raid series and I'll start it up and, and make it for you. Um, my editors are frothing for it. They're like, they want it. But I really do want to give you guys the highest quality content. So... At the moment, it's on pause, and uh, I'll leave that there. Now, let's talk about the actual current Escape from Tarkov state, the state of Escape from Tarkov. Uh, it's a, it's there's an incredible difference and about uh, with Escape from Tarkov from when people are full sweat running mega awesome gear compared to the people that are just trying to learn the game and they're struggling just to make make a buck. You know, I feel still I still feel strongly that there is no mid game for Escape from Tarkov either. People are just like trying to get by, get their quest done, find that bronze pocket watch, you know, or they're running, you know, MK47 in a group of three men, all fully geared, and they're just stomping everyone in the map. Now, 
for me, I kind of like the early white better. Or I do like the early white better. It It's kind of like easy to say that because I'm the one full mega sweat running around killing everyone that's leveling up. But I also do enjoy the leveling process too. I already feel like majority of my fights are already down to one to two bullets uh, because of the time to kill is so short. And um, there is a power creep. There always is a power creep in Escape from Tarkov. But I almost, I almost dislike it when there's no actual fight happening. It literally usually comes down to like one bullet from an angle that you didn't even know existed and uh, you, or you didn't even hear him there in the first place. Um, it, it's always been a thing in Escape from Tarkov. Early wipe, the fight seemed to go a bit longer. And then late wipe, it's like, you know, someone will just tap you from across the map. Um, and I'm not saying they're cheating or anything. It's just like, it's just how the game kind of progresses. It's just people get better gear, better guns, armor and helmets do less and less, and you literally get smashed. So for me, um, the, the fights aren't there anymore as much as I enjoy early wipe. And that's usually why I play the hardcore because, and I enjoy the hardcore so much because the fights actually do take me a little bit longer to kill someone or I have to be a little bit more tactical in how I take on the fight because I don't just have the best gear or the best ammo to do that. Now, it's not all negatives. Um, the things they are doing with the events are really great. I actually love the idea that they're taking the time that pretty much every week now, there's a new little mini event uh, from either being like a loot focused thing or, you know, Rishala spawning on shoreline. All these things are really great for keeping the longevity of the player base throughout a wipe cycle. The wipe cycles on Escape from Tarkov used to be less than three months, right? And it that was really fun. I actually thought it was like the perfect time somewhere around the four month mark um over those like wipes it's actually gotten longer and longer i, I don't want to like diss the game too hard but pretty much since about reserve um the wipes have gone from being like every four months with some pretty big content added to it like a map or something or the flea market to now being every six months and it just seems like it's less and less each wipe now obviously they're trying to work on a lot of things at the same time a lot of uh mechanics and and all that um, but the content has definitely slowed down in my mind, or at least that's how it feels. So uh, a wipe being six months, really after about three or four months, you've pretty much done everything to death. The events that they're doing though is a great way of making it more enjoyable for the people who do want to push through the in entire six months playing the game the entire time, making a living and doing what they're doing, or just, just love the game so much they want to keep doing it. So that's great for them to do it. And, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's good for them. But I've literally streamed 8,000 hours of this. I'm like 100 hours behind, I think, Quattro Ace, who's streamed the most talk of. Then on top of that, I've filmed like five to 500 to 1,000 hours of YouTube content for this game. I am like definitely done my fair share of talk of stuff. So I don't want to force myself to keep playing this game just so, you know, I can make extra money when I'm, you know, enjoying just doing a little bit of variety. And actually the coolest thing about the variety I've been doing is I'm meeting new people and, 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 uh, and it's just been great by doing that. Now, this will probably be the most controversial uh, comment uh, that I'll probably say during this video. And I seem to make one per each video, but I, I feel like the, the community is very aggressive towards anyone who has any sort of constructive criticism about the game. And it's really unappealing. So like, you can't really have too many constructive con uh, conversations about the game without someone being like, oh, just the game's meant to be hard or, you know, like that's okay, but everyone's allowed their opinions on this game. And um, it's, it's sometimes very detracting. Like you just want to have like, it's the main reason why I just stopped making uh, doing the podcast with the team. Um, it's like we would just sit there and, and just talk about random shit with the, about the game. And then people would be like, oh, streamers. And it's like, well, I can't even just have a fun conversation. It's like, even though we don't want these changes and that. So um, it's kind of like I, I've pushed away from even doing podcasts on the game. Uh, even though it was fun to do at the time, uh, it's, it's almost make, making a podcast about nothing to just make a podcast like these days so if there's an opportunity to bring nikita on a, on a podcast and have a big conversation about stuff in the game sure i'll do that but um the main reason why that side of the game that my content has actually slowed down or doesn't exist at the moment is the fact that people are very aggressive they love it they're very passionate about escape from dark like don't touch my talk of like it's i love it but at the same time it can be a little bit full on at times so uh that's kind of why the podcast have taken a step back as well Next up, what you'll see from me here and when I'll be back playing Escape from Tarkov full time like I usually would. Um, I'm going to finish playing the hardcore series. I'm still enjoying it. Uh, when I do feel like playing Tarkov, that's what I'll be doing. I'll get through the rest of the hardcore series. Um, if I do get an opportunity to like, play with Swagger Souls or anyone else, um, maybe Train or, or Red Ops, I'll do some duos in Escape from Tarkov too. Um, it's always great to hang out with those people and, and play some, some duos. 
and uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy that content too. I, I know you guys really do enjoy the Swagger Soul stuff. Um, if there's any proper, actual good content to cover for Escape from Tarkov, I will make sure I still do it. So patch notes and all that kind of stuff. If there's a, a decent patch come out, I'll be back. I'll check it out and I'll make a video on it. Just like I normally would for you guys and you'll have the, the most up-to-date information with that. Um, but I, I just want to stray away that, you know, posting a video a, a day of just some images and that. Like, it's a great way to grow your channel. It's a great way to get exposure. Um, and, and I'm not knocking anyone who does it. But I kind of just want to move past that. I want to always just give you guys straight, solid content um, and, uh, and as in-depth as possible. So that's kind of how I've built my brand. You know, just give you guys everything with no fluff. You know, it's a bit more of a fluffy video because I'm just talking to you guys straight, straight up, you know? My main aim is also, I want to come back refreshed for when there is an actual solid content patch. Um, and when there is, I'll be there. So for example, if they add VoIP, if they add a new map, you know, when Lighthouse comes out, I'll pick that map apart. If there's Streets of Tarkov come out, I'll pick that map apart. You know, any of the actual major content patches that come out, I will be back in full swing. And I want to be refreshed for that. So um, like, don't be deterred by the fact that there'll be other games coming up on this channel. I want to play some Dark Souls. People ask me to play that. I want to play some other games. I want to have some fun. And I want to put up some, some different content on this channel. And uh, give it a go. If you see a game that you enjoy or you're interested in, uh, check it out. I'll be playing some Diablo 2 Resurrected. I might even dabble into New World for a little bit. I want to play Rust with Sequisha and some other guys from uh, from the Rust community like well. And, and also during the next few months, um, I actually am working towards getting more stuff out on the Pestley TV channel and the Unmasked channel. The uh, Unmasked channel is where a lot of my IRL or my live kind of content's going and uh i've already paid for a shed it's uh 60 foot by i think no sorry it's 50 foot by 80 foot it's something like 4,000 square feet i don't know it's massive 370 meters squared um and in that shed i'm gonna be building a studio i'll probably live stream building the studio and i've got some really cool ideas for that and that shed is purely for the stream like everything i'm going to be doing for the stream will be in that i'm going to be doing a lot of uh content for that I, uh, they'll be focused on my other channels just so I'm not just playing computer games, I need to do some other stuff in my life. I am coming up to the four year mark of content creation and uh, I do need to dabble into doing some other stuff for enjoyment. Lastly, the one question that people do ask me a lot as well is the next Punisher tournament. I have actually postponed it indefinitely until I decide uh, I want to do it again. But there's a lot of man hours and, and, and time that goes into making this tournament happen. Usually I, I, I have two editors working for about two weeks full time on making that uh, happen. I, uh, I lose about three or four mods to organizing all the information that people submit when they qualify and, and all the qualif qualification periods. And it is a li literally a man hour intensive uh, tournament to put together. Uh, it's a lot of fun, but at the moment, I just don't feel like it's, I just don't want to do another copy pass through the previous tournaments. And uh, I've got some great ideas for it, but it, it's just something I just, I, it goes back to, I want to be excited to do it. With all my normal content it's the same with this i want to be really excited so it might be at the end of this year it might be next year it might not happen again i don't want to like give you guys a date get you guys excited but um when i do do it it's going to be massive all right just just remember it'll be massive all right that's enough waffling from me um uh, obviously you know this is all my opinions all my thoughts it's just how i feel right now and uh, hopefully you guys are excited to see some of the other content on the channel. Give it a go, all right? If you haven't checked out the Pestily TV channel, there's a lot of great content, including stuff from this wipe. Uh, the 1 to 20 speed run is probably the best I've ever played on Escape from Tarkov. It's uh, a full playthrough from 1 to 20. I did it in like 15 hours and I played like an absolute god. All right, um, I don't think I'll ever play that good for a 1 to 20 speed run. It was insane. Um, and I also put the hardcore series up there. And when the raid series does come out, I will put that over there. Uh, the Unmasked channel is more my uh, my just chatting kind of content. And then on the main channel, you will see a plenty, a plethora, a, 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 a large amount. I don't know. I don't have the words that Wellen has. A uh, a quartet of content based around other stuff. Hopefully doing a lot of duos and, and catching up with other uh, content creators and having a lot of fun doing it. So I'll leave this here. Thanks for watching the video. If you watched all the way to here, do appreciate it. Make sure you leave a comment below um, and like for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe, notification bell to keep up to date for all the content I'm putting out. And lastly, guys, I'll see you next time.